It is one of those toasty mornings here in the state of Florida. What is up, y'all? How are y'all doing today? If you follow the channel, you guys know that I live in a camper and I also am the proud owner of this bad boy right here. I probably shouldn't touch that. Can you see all this pollen? On the top of that. Got me sneezing like crazy recently. The camper is like a, the Imperial Star Cruiser and this is like my own TIE fighter. So sometimes we can camp at places and then sometimes this gets me to other places to camp but more stealthily. If you remember back like last year we were building this out to be a really cool stealth camper and then just a lot of stuff has happened and I just I don't know a lot's been going on and we've kind of neglected this but let me show you real quick what we're working with here. All right so there's the truck it is a truck with this pappy cap right here. It doesn't look like much right now, but we actually rigged this up with 5% tint on both sides right there. We have lighting that goes around the whole thing. We have a bed and uh, just a pull out drawer and everything. Like this thing could be the ultimate stealth camper. It has the potential. I've had this dream, you know, just going out to fish, cooking what I catch and, you know, just sleeping in here and just, it's just very relaxing, especially places where you can't get to very easily or places where like you can't really park a big old camper. This is like perfect for that. So we've got cooking stuff in the drawer. We've got basically everything, right? Today is a day where the dream starts up yet again. Here's the plan, all right? We're going to drive out to the water with a fishing rod and a dream. We're going to hopefully eat whatever we catch and we're going to camp in the back. Like look out, I'm telling you, man. I mean, there's a lot of pollen on this right now, but you cannot see through there. This 5% I want to build curtains inside as well. And we've got the, the lights are freaking sick if you haven't seen them. Forget the stealth camper. We're going to be ninja fishermen campers. And uh, we are at the store right now. Boob, as y'all can see right there, a little sports bid warehouse action. I'm going to go pick up something that I've been talking about for a while. It is like kind of the missing piece to a lot of these catching cooks. And then we're going to get out on the water, get this video started, catch the fish, have a freaking good day. A lot has been going on recently that I want to catch you guys up on. And uh, yeah, man, I'm excited. Let's stop talking. Let's get right into this, man. All right, so we've done some things already. We stopped at the store and bought one of these dudes. And boom. So this is what we are now working with as far as cooking goes. I had an individual little, I don't even know what it's called, like one of those little burner things, right? But those things are so hard like to keep stuff from not burning. It's either hot or it's not. This is supposed to, uh, I don't know if I got a really good one. This is like $100. It's kind of expensive, but I'm sure somebody's going to be like, oh, you should have got this one. And, you know, this will do the job for now. This is a Coleman. I don't know what exact model. And we got two things of propane. It's got like little side things to block the wind, which was a problem when we had the single burner. The wind would always be flowing. And yeah, now we can cook two things at once as well. Small-ish pans and we can boil some water. We can cook at the same time. This just gives us a lot more, you know, options. And here is the setup. Got the bed together and here are, it's tough to see because of the lighting right now, but these lights make it super bright, especially at night. And we've got a little bit of mess in here. I've got to clean this all up as you guys, y'all yeah, know. But this is it, man. This is the setup. So we stopped at the store to get that, and I also stopped to get these dudes right here. Picked up a dozen fresh, juicy shrimp. We got the bubbler going. Let's put these in the shade somewhere. And as y'all can see, we are over here at some water. Let me park this a little bit better, and then uh, we'll try to catch the fish to hopefully cook. Okay, that should be good for now. So if you guys actually remember a couple videos ago, I went to this spot for the first time. I literally found it on Google Maps and we found that it's underwater over there right now, but there were like these rocks and we flipped them over and we found little mud crabs and then we went and kayaked all that way and we tried to fish all these pilings and I, yeah, we didn't really catch. I don't think I caught anything. As y'all can see today, the tide is a lot higher. It is coming in. This should be a good time to fish. I'm just going to fish from the bank and see if we get anything over here. It looks, I mean, it looks good. To be completely honest, I haven't fished or even been around for like a whole week. I cannot tell you how good it feels to be out here to get to fish it and film more videos. So basically over the past week, Kelsey and I, Kelsey's my wife, if you are not familiar, we went on a cruise, a Royal Caribbean cruise. If you wanna see, we, we actually filmed some videos. Um, those will be on our other, like the vlog channel. Link that down in the description below. What the heck do we have here? Hello, somebody caught a nice red right there. Look at that. All right, that's interesting. Well, those things might be around. So six days on a boat. We went to a couple different countries out in uh, the Western Caribbean. That's the, honestly the first time in, I think since I've started filming videos where I just like, I don't know. I was just gone for a week. I still had a video to upload while I was gone, but you know what I mean? Just like not thinking about fishing YouTube or fishing or anything. It was, 
It was a nice break. I think it was a needed break after, I don't know, what, five years? But we are back and I'm better than ever. I am freaking rejuvenated. So we got these shrimp and I think we're gonna go right over here. Yeah, this tide is really, you guys remember when we were catching those crabs? We were all the way like down there. I'm wondering if that's why like, we didn't catch anything last time just cause it was like dead low, barely coming in. Um, let's try right here. So basically this is what we're working with you guys though, man. Lose inshore speed stick, 400 series reel. This is a 7.2 medium heavy, 20 pound braid going to 30 pound fluoro leader. And then we have a popping cork on here going down to 30 pound leader and a tiny, tiny little hook right there this is a one knot circle live bait hook i think honestly wasn't even planning on getting fresh like live shrimp but they had frozen shrimp or this so i was like let's just try some of these hook them right here through the horn boobity bop flopping around this looks muddy i don't want to get too muddy here but yeah man a lot has been going on this looks like a nice spot Just toss it out of there, see what the heck happens. Whew. Again, with these popping corks, you can kind of do a couple different things with them. First of all, like the tide is obviously coming in, so it's just flowing that way. You can just kind of let the shrimp just chill and float. That is a strategy or what people do is kind of pop it like that. It makes a crash and uh, yeah, commotion. Fish come to see it and they're like, oh gosh, that looks good. Again, I've got absolutely no clue if this is even a good place to fish, but we're just gonna be bopping around if, if anything. Like, this is literally, I'm put a filet mignon on the hook. You're gonna tell me someone's not gonna bite that? Today is a day to just chill get back into the swing of things it just feels i i keep saying this it feels so freaking good to be fishing man <sighs> i missed it basically what's in play today is just about everything i think that trout and redfish might be like the main guys but it, again it's freaking shrimp man and talking black drum possibly um sheep's head maybe if we get close enough to some structure a lot of those maybe smaller species that are tasty like little perch you freaking never know i mean it's somewhere like this sharks really anything so we'll see all right i went back and swapped shoes this is like super muddy over here you know it's muddy mud when it's like farting as you're walking on it all right this is looking kind of promising this looks like some good stuff right here under the bridge, really any kind of structure, like rocks, bridges, any of that is gonna be a good place, I think, today. All right, we had to switch the strategy up here a little bit. So we have a little Carolina rig on right now. I don't think I was getting low enough. With the size of these shrimp, there's no reason we get it close to these pilings and they're down there the sheep said would not eat this boom this mud is super muddy i freaking almost busted my butt a couple times so we'll just got to sit down there see if we get any bites i think that the fish are just a little further down and uh i don't think that the cork is the wave at the moment right there There's a bite. Took me. All right, what is this? We're dealing with something. Might be a little smaller. There we go. There we go. Oh no. No. What? There we go. 
fish on. What do we got here? First one of the day. What is biting us? What the heck is that? Hello? All right, you guys are gonna have to help me identify this in the comment section below. Is this what is out there biting me? This can't be it, right? It's gotta be more than this. Should I touch this? All right, well, this is honestly, I don't even know what this is. Um, if you guys know, please let me know in the comment section below. This could be a new species, I think it is, for my lifetime species list. I learned my lesson though from touching fish that I don't know what they are. All right, well, <laughs> This is the, the view right now. Whoa. Yo, first date, I thought this was an eating whatever I catch video. L listen, man. I don't know this by now, but every time you go out, you don't, you don't know what's gonna happen. Sometimes you catch fish, sometimes you catch keeper fish, sometimes you don't catch anything. At least we caught a fish, right? We're getting back into the swing of things. We're getting back into the swing of the camper, truck camper, and I guess fishing as well. Listen, man, I'm just a guy from Delaware, but I did prepare. You always have to have a plan B. So don't get it twisted. We are going to be eating whatever we catch. If we catch something, which hopefully will be every video from now on out. But today at the store, I saw this and I grabbed it. I was like, dude, why does that actually look fire? We've tried stuff from this brand before. I think it was uh, spaghetti at the Bass Pro Shop one time and something else, but this sounds so good, dude. Buffalo style chicken mac and cheese. I was gonna say, it's got uh, chicken, pasta, carrots, celery stuff like that. I think all we need to do is uh, something pretty simple. All right, so this is the setup. Nothing fancy. Again, we're at a truck stop. Ooh, the sun's setting in the background. Here's a better look at the lights. You guys can see them. And we've got this, we've got the mac and cheese, and we are gonna start this for the first time ever. I've never used something like this before. Hopefully we don't do something dumb. All right, took me a second. I had to spin it more than I thought. We got an airplane flying overhead. <laughs> All right, well, this is where we are at uh, the end of the day, eating hopefully some tasty food. This is actually like, this is a really sick setup. We could actually do some legit cooking on here. Let me know down in the comments below what kind of stuff you guys want to see as far as recipes go. But um, yeah, man, we're gonna cook this. Look at the sun setting down. Basically all you have to do, this is the simplest recipe. I think we're gonna bake it on this new thing, but Boil water and just pour it in here. It says boil one and a half cups. No, one and two thirds. Then just stir it and yeah. Should be good to go. I don't know if I have a fork. It's definitely gonna be interesting to see how um, long this takes to boil as well. By the way, it's funny, the guy over there, you see the white van. He was getting out and he wanted to he wanted me to park next to him, but it was like creepy sounded, so I I, I did not do that. I don't know if this is a spot we're gonna park for sure, but as you all can see there are trucks on trucks on trucks and these people are staying the night here too, the guy in the white truck, uh, the white van. So other people will stay in the night as well. We are just now waiting for the boil. It's already starting to look at that. One thing I will say about this stove though so far is that it does not, look, look. It has this dial right there and that dial right there for that side, but there's no like push to start button. This is no Lamborghini push to start. You have to actually put this and then start it, which I don't know how I feel about that because then you have to not forget that and there's just more moving pieces. But I think for the price, I think this is hopefully gonna be pretty decent. It looks like it's already just darn near boiling. Please let me know down in the comments section below if you guys uh, want to see more stuff like this, more truck camping, more, maybe we'll go back to that. Remember that video we did with the eating only what I catch for 24 hours, world's longest fishing pier? That'd be freaking, if we need to get redemption on that. And especially we need redemption on the freaking sheep's head, dude. That is going to be, uh, yeah, that's gonna feel really good. <laughs> we freaking catch one. This thing cooks quick. I'm just so happy to finally have two burners and one I can actually control decently. All right. Turn that off. I guess you're supposed to take that out. How do I know if there's any more in there? Ooh, dude, look at the chicken falling apart. That's, um, all right. I'm gonna do this carefully over here. All right, and it's as simple as that. These little canisters just screw into the opposite end of this thing right there. So that's very nice. I'm sure if you're really cooking with both of the burners, it'll probably deplete it pretty quickly. Just pop these little sides out. Pop this thing out and we are good to go. All right, this drawer is a mess. We gotta figure that out. But I do have little plates and little silverware stuff. So in the end, we do have it for. Mm, last smells good. I hope we didn't add 
too much water. Should be good. And look, this thing, is, it's like so convenient. It's so tiny and light. That's really what I wanted in a stove top cooker. I know it's been a while since we've kind of explored. There's like a hair hanging. The heck? You guys see that? Kelsey, why is your hair on my ceiling? But it's been a while since we've been in here. So let me just show you guys um, kind of a few things about this camper. Just a refresher, especially if you've been here before. So these windows, they have screens in them. They slide out open and we're definitely gonna do that at night. This is how we get out. Pull this little dude, pops open. People can see in here, by the way, when the lights are on, when it's dark. So people probably looking at me right now, about, about to watch me eat. Do a mukbang show for the whole truck stop. And then um, I have all this, like we, we gotta organize some stuff here. There's a lot to do with this truck. So basically I have a battery box that these lights plug into and that is what it looks like. Then nobody can really see in. I'll turn this back on. Again, one more time with the lights. Without the lights. You know, this is just how, how the cookie crumbles sometimes. We could have had delectable, fresh caught redfish. We could have had perch. We could have done lots of different things, but the fish just did not want to cooperate today. Okay. Oh man. <laughs> this actually looks kind of good. Oh, dude, that smells so good. Let me, um, hmm, am I gonna do this without spilling everywhere? Yeah, that's not gonna work. It's a little wet. Here, let me do this. Might have put like a hair too much water in. Oh, that's how you know it's good. Look at that. <laughs> Buffalo chicken mac and cheese. It's just weird, like basically it's freeze dried and then we're just rehydrating it basically. This is gonna be hot. Yo, hold on. The noodles aren't like super solid, but <laughs> not a bad way to end the day. So basically what's gonna be going on, I'm just gonna kinda chill here. We drove, I don't even know where we are to be honest. The places y'all saw me fish today, I don't even know what I'm gonna put in this video, but that's not all that we fished today. It's been a journey. But yeah, that's just, as I said, that's sometimes how it goes. I think that this is gonna be a very loud truck stop to be sleeping at. Oh, the sunset looks so cool. We'll go out there in a second. Hmm. This is not bad. But yeah, basically this is, this is a mukbang now. Things have been going good. Videos are gonna start coming back out with rapid pace and I just wanna make a lot more. We're gonna be doing some traveling again and yeah, we said to be back. I don't even know if you guys knew I was gone. Good day, man. The Eagles are in the Super Bowl. I don't wanna talk about sports much, but life is good right now. No complaints. Look at that. Oh yeah. The sunset is strong on this fine night. I don't know if this is the spot we're for sure gonna stay at. I don't know yet. All right, that was actually pretty tasty. So basically just gonna chill here. Gonna edit this video and um, yeah, man, tomorrow we'll be back at it. Some more fishing. This is, it'll be interesting to see. I think this is my first time ever truck camping at a truck stop. So like all these truckers over there, basically they're they're like sleeping in their trucks so it's not that much different it's just that i'm in the bed of the truck there's an airplane flying over i know y'all could probably hear that but truck life <laughs> professional fishing friend, professional truck camper professional chef eating mac and cheese i'll go chill here for a little bit Okay, well this was, I think, a good start. The goal really is never to go to these places and stay at truck stops and loud places like this. As you can see, I had to move last night. I got surrounded by these big old trucks. There's one that pulled up in here. Where is he? These trucks are freaking loud, dude. And I get it, like, yeah, I'm at like a gas station truck stop thing. The goal is never to like camp necessarily at places like this unless I have to. This is more like a warm up. Today we're gonna go do some fishing, gotta wake up, it's early. And here is the view. There's actually like a little pond right over there. I might go look at it real quick. Whoa, hello Florida. Always so humid in the morning. All right. Yeah. This video is not what I expected, but again, sometimes that's how life goes. We've learned that these dudes are very loud. I got a really cool idea for the next camping video. Again, let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this. More fishing is coming, and uh, yeah, man. 
I'm excited for you guys to see actually the next video we upload. It's gonna be pretty cool. I gotta say, man, let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. You see ya. Know just next video. Well.